Honda's best-selling CR-V is no stranger to participating in our long-term tests. In fact, we've done long-term evaluations on every generation of CR-V going back to 1997, when the Sport Ute first appeared on U.S. shores. Remember the cleverly packaged picnic table? We've watched Honda continually advance and evolve the CR-V from an oddball Japanese domestic product to a mainstream benchmark SUV. So once again we've invited one into our fleet. But before we delve into another 12 months of testing the latest evolution of CR-V, it seems apropos to take a quick look back at some excerpts from past CR-V long-term tests, that are helping inform how far it's come. In 1997, after a year of driving Honda's first-generation CR-V, we said, a small displacement engine, curbside hinge tailgate, awkward power window controls, unique interior terrain, and nounless name reveal the not for this market truths, but those endearing elements also lend the CR-V a slight anti-mainstream charm. In 2002 we finished up 12 months with a second-gen CR-V, what the CR-V may lack in sport, it handily makes up for in utility. There's decent seating for five, and the flat floor allows you to walk between the front seats to stay out of the rain. There are storage areas, 21 in all, everywhere, though those in the dash don't hold some